This is it, folks. The last episode. Episode 7. Will we make it today? Will we get to the end? Or am I gonna die in the first 10 minutes? Let's find out. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. As we approach election day, more and more protests are occurring in our fine country. Don't support the violence. Vote for Tyrak. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia hotline. This can be right, folks. The votes are rigged. He can be winning. We count on your support. We've been messing around with his posters since the beginning of the game. We've been supporting Flores, the Brigades. We've been doing pretty much everything other we than supporting Tyrak. Support. Shut the fuck up. Okay, okay, all right, fine, fine. Three kids. Missing for 21 days. The this one is quite is far away from the border. Hours, I am tempted to go Let's bring these teams with her. Back home. Plus, seven energy, 17 bucks. And 2,040 miles away from the border. Let's go. And that has been the Sonya Show. At this rate, I don't think we can complete every single story in the game, right? Except for Zoe. We're very close to completing Fanny. We're very close to completing Alex and Jared. Oh, John is uh, much closer to the end, too. Again in the middle of nowhere. Are you serious? There is an invisible wall here? What? I wanted to invent. Whoa, easy, Jared. Jared? It's him. Is he turning around? Does he have another body in the trunk? Where did he go? Rotten food? No, come on! Money. 20 bucks! Some matches. Tapes, maybe? I like tapes. Now, what's up with this fence? Let's take a moment. Take this all in. I would like a ride! I see you work for Happy Taxi! I don't have time for this. Oh, got some place to be, huh? Brigade. Brigade? What? I'm the one doing the talking. Understand? Okay, go on then. I knew you'd come back to your van. <laughs> 
That, that's not my van, man. No, but you come here sometimes. You and your brigade friends. I heard something. Someone is in the trunk. I don't know what you mean. What did I say? Now, get in your filthy van and find me a light. I feel like having a smoke. There you go on, wasting your bullets, killing innocent birds. Uh, wait, you, you want a light? Okay. A light it. I, I saw some matches. I knew they were important. Did you find a light yet? Yeah. There you go. Those easily, didn't you? I knew that was your van. Now we're gonna play a little game. Okay. It's called Hot and Cold. I used to play it with my daughter. Tick tock. The game has started. Call. Call. You're burning up. I am? You're on fire! We're very good at this game. That's a good brigade. Now, I have a surprise for you. You like surprises, right? I love them. Grab the can. Lola? Don't look at that. It's private. What else you got in there? Let me see. Oh. You got a dinosaur! I love dinosaurs, man. Good. Now, put gas on everything in the van. Everything! We're gonna watch it burn! That's the surprise! I love myself some good fire. Understand. You still don't know what your surprise is. That means it's a good surprise. The surprise is we're gonna burn the van with you in it. I don't like that surprise. But I'm not a black brigade. Maybe you aren't. But why should I risk it? You'll have to live with yourself. Um, do you have a daughter? Yeah. Tell me about her. You're just stalling. No, I really want to know. Go! But tell the other brigades I'm coming for them! For what they did to Lola! And remember, tell them! I love you, Jared. Please marry me. We can do crimes together, murder people. We could have a full life. Take me on a ride. <sighs> what a guy. They say cool guys don't look at explosions. But I can't stop staring at Jared. He's that perfect. What a legend. What a god. Well now, I believe we have enough money for a bus ride. Something did it for me, it wasn't me. And here's our tape Bella Ciao. It sounds Italiano.
Uh, seven uh, for a bus? All right, let's do it. Surprisingly enough, the bus is not taking me where I want to go. It's going somewhere else. It's going west. I've been kept inside so long. I've lost sight of Welcome aboard, kid. Hi to you too. When you left an open door, I couldn't Hey, uh, are you traveling to you know. Yeah. And you? I am, yes. Hmm. Are you frightened? All the time. Huh. Same goes for me. What you should do now is rest. If you can. You'll feel better. No, I, I don't want to... Let me check behind. I can't see what these things are. Token? Token? What are tokens for? At least our driver is not a Tyrex supporter this time. A rare occurrence indeed. Awake, eh? Yes. Oh, wow, where did my friend go? No changes here. Oh, where's the other passenger? He got off while you were asleep. Can you drop me here? Yeah, fine by me. Yeah, that was a waste of time. More like a filler. We didn't meet anybody. None of our friends. Perhaps we need to hitchhike. How many days before the elections? 47? I don't remember. Oh, it's Fanny! You keep breaking your cars, you gotta do something about it. You're not a very good driver, are you? What is going on over there? Freaking invisible wall! Let me go investigate! Where's Fanny? I mean, look at this. These people are Flores supporters. How can Tyrak be at almost 70% if Flores has so many supporters? How many tapes are we missing? I am missing one singular tape! We gotta find it, boys. We gotta find it. It's gotta be uh, around here somewhere. Hey, uh, Fanny! Fanny? You wouldn't happen to have any tapes now, would you? Convenient for you, your car broke down uh, under a tree. No good! Flippin' tire! It's not gonna get any better if you kick the car. Hello! That's karma for you, damn boy! Is, um, is everything okay? Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? Get back here, kid! I'm, I'm here, I'm just looking around for the last tape, you know? You're smarter than I thought. What are you doing out here? 
car trouble, I can help. I'm not in any way changing the subject. You changing the subject on me? Well, <laughs> she knows. any advice, I guess it wouldn't hurt to hear it. Uh, we could call a tow truck. Wait, Papa Bear is uh, not in the business, right? My mom taught me a trick. Then have at it, kid. With just my bare hands. What are you? A tire whisperer? Just look at the professional at work. Oh, we need a spare tire. Do you happen to have a spare tire? Ah, shit. Um, yeah, what happens now? Because I can't move. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Easy peasy. Hey, don't stop there. The pump's behind you. Oh, you want to see me pumping, don't you? You know, you remind me of my son. He's always fixing things. Always breaking things, too. Here. A, a stopper? Oh, for the tire. I'm like, what? <clears throat> You're welcome. Uh, just my luck. You have a car. Come on, follow me. Damn, girl, you thick. So, uh... Yes? Why are we sitting outside in the rain like idiots when we could be sitting inside your car, safe from the rain? Are you nervous about election day? Make sure you're not at the border that day, okay? I can see the brigades trying something like an 86. I hope that Flores wins. All right, kid. Noted. something wrong you could say that yeah you could definitely say that want to talk about it with you <laughs> that's all right no offense just because I'm a kid take it easy kid fine I'll tell you it's just that my son my adopted son ran away can I ask why? I... I knew something that he didn't. A secret. And when I told him, he got upset. What was the secret? I told him who his biological parents were. Or as much as I know about them anyway. And who were they? Dangerous people, kid. Very dangerous. They were brigades. Dangerous people? They were members of the Black Brigades. Sorry he took it so hard. Yeah. Me too. Can I ask how you adopted him? You know about the attack in 86, right? Yes. That's the day I met my son. You were there that day? Yeah. I was working security. Hired to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Then what happened? Everything was going fine until... it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was... awful. Sounds really scary. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so... terrible. At some point, I... I looked down and... 
There was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. And what happened then? I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. So, you think his parents are dead? I do. What other explanation is there? I... I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. You were trying to protect him. Thanks, kid. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid, I don't know what you're up to out here. Just promise me something. You got it. Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you. But I'm almost at the border! Oh. Well, at least drive me somewhere. I fixed your tire. God damn it, fatty. All right, then back to hitchhiking. You left your tools behind. I don't suppose we're gonna find another tape out here, so hitchhike it is. Papa Bear, is that you? It wasn't Papa Bear. Whoa, Fanny is at 100%. Oh, that's it then. We're not meeting her ever again. I didn't check on Jared. What percentage was Jared at? Oh god, no! Of all people, you picked me up? Drink. That was shit pain? Um, I'm not old enough to drink, you know. You're kind of far away. You're wondering why I've given you a ride. I am? I gave you a ride. Because I know your secret. And what's my secret? That you're my biggest fan. Oh, don't deny it, Gumdrop. Who are you? Don't pretend, sugar. Now relax. You must be exhausted from being on the road. I'm not a fan of TV shows, by the way, or the news, so I have no idea who you are, lady. I'm okay, I think. There's a normal sized remote to your left. See it? Everything you ever wanted can be accessed by pressing one of its normal sized buttons. Oh, this oh. thing. I, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm looking for tapes. Why would you have any tapes in here? Dude, there's nothing in this car. God, I hate limos. Stop. Sorry, sugar. But the music never stops in Sonia's limo. It just did. Nor does the party. Now I'm just gonna grab the normal size remote on this side and. No, oh, look at that. Pretty. Well, that's what rich people call a sunroof. Now go on, climb up there. No, I want to press the question marks. <laughs> Put it back. Let me play with the remote some more. Oh, that's freaking awesome, though. Okay, I'm done. I gotta 
twiggled my teeth. That happens. I wear a mouth guard for that very reason. Do me a favor and grab one of those fan letters beside you. Don't. Fan letters. <laughs> What's it say? Watch your back! Oh, that's the only one you get? Good mail! It says, uh, to, uh, watch your back? Oh, I see. Put on the pile labeled death threats. <laughs> you get death threats often? Not much lately. I was from this one guy. But I think he moved on. That's why I got Adam, my bodyguard and driver. As irritating as he is. Do you want me to turn the audio off, Sonya? Uh, yeah! Why would someone do that? It's a question I ask myself all the time. Believe me. But whoever it is, they won't do nothing. How can you know? I've been getting letters for ten years, Snookins. Yet here I still am. Sonia? What is it, Adam? Kinda having a moment here with my biggest fan. It's time. Time for what? For the Sonia show, of course. I never miss it. Now park those buns over here. <laughs> park buns here? Please let me play with the remote some more. I wanna know what the question- Don't make me replay the whole game just to find out what the question marks were. We say it's live, but <laughs> that'd be way too hard. Protests are on the upswing. Asked about it, President Tyrak stated that he believes Flores herself to be a member of the Black Brigades. And now for today's missing teen report. Unfortunately, we have additional teens and blah, 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 blah. You can ask me anything you want. You know that, right? I'm here for you. I do have a question. Feels like something big's gonna happen. Those brigades are probably up to something. What about you, honey? Planning on being at the border for the big day? My voice will be heard, yes. Oh, Jesus. Another political teen? Wait. You feel that? We're slowing down. Ring uh, Adam uh, for me, would uh, you? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, just to ring Adam. Move pillow. Oh, baby! Jared is around? Now this is a tape we need to listen to. Collect them all! We got all the tapes! It's very dark outside. Adam? Yes, Sonia? It wasn't me who rang Adam. So stupid. It was my biggest fan. Yes, Sonia's biggest fan? What's happening? We're pulling into a security checkpoint. Looks like there's another protest. And to think this was once a nice totalitarian nation. Are we gonna get in trouble? I don't wanna be arrested, I just started this run! What are they protesting? Probably Tyrak trying to steal the election? Or Tyrak increasingly taking away their civil liberties? Ugh, babies. Glorious supporters. You suck, Sonia! CNN is pirate news! You know, he's not wrong! GNN is Styrak News? They think my station is owned and operated by the state. Well, it is true. It's not. I mean, not 100%. It is. Here come the police. This party is about to blow up. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, you, loser! Get out of my way! Hey, get out of here, loser! Sonia, please get back in the limo.
I'm surprised she didn't get shot. You know they have a reason to be here. You're starting to sound like a black brigade, sweetie. Uh-oh, they have rocks again. Those are some big rocks. Uh, Adam? I think their anger is justified, Sonya. Is that right? That's your second strike, Snoopins. Cops are using force? Well, these terrorists are enemies of the state. How can you call yourself a reporter? Now you're really starting to annoy me. You're in my limo. Remember that. Jesus Christ, what is going on out there? Finally! So long, losers! This is a war zone. Well, we made it. Not that there was ever any doubt. Exciting, no? Yeah, real exciting. I'm joking, sweetie. But I'm not when I say I want you out of my limo. I thought you were my biggest fan. Fine, I don't want to ride with you. Adam! Adam! Drop this loser off. Drop me! Yes, Sonya. So long, kid. Whatever. See you never. She had an epiphany in the last episode, being nice and kind for a mere two minutes, and now she's back to being an asshole. Some people never change. Jared is at 75%. We need to find him again. I don't want to get to the border. The stories are not done. That wouldn't have happened if my uh, se second or third character hadn't been arrested or died. Or No, no. Arrested. Arrested. We didn't die. We got arrested. What am I going to do now? We, uh... We ran out of tapes, we got them all. What else is there to collect? The tokens, yes, of course, tokens. What are they good for? I don't know. Man, everything is falling apart. One of the kids we met in the last episode said that they called and donated to Flores. I would like to do that too. We have enough money. I can manage. What is going on with the lighting in this area? But I've never found um, a phone number for Flores, I don't think. There is a phone number for pretty much everything regarding Tyrak, but Flores? Nope. Oh. Yeah, there is no number. I don't know. Hello? Jared? I don't want to go upstairs, but I might have to. Take money! We need some food. Uh, next opportunity I get, we're buying some snacks. Some snakes. Or eating rotten food, I don't know, whatever the game provides. <gasps> oh, thank goodness for small favors, there we go. That was nice. Uh, how much did that give me? One? One point of vitality? Well, maybe we don't have to wear the outfits all the time. Crazy talk, Mitch. Now, shh. It's almost time for the Sonia show. The Peaky Bank. I wonder what she's going to wear today. <laughs> Me too. That pink number, maybe. So it turns out that these, uh, these two, 
Are Sonya's brothers? I had no idea. I thought they were just fans. You hear that? Ah! Ugh. That's not the creep after Sonya, is it? No, kid ain't nothing but a hitchhiker. Tie her up. Told you she wasn't dead. You were right. Guess I owe you five big ones. I don't have it on me right now. But I will as soon as we rob the kid. Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, where uh, am I? This is Stan and I's hideout. Pretty nice, don't you think? Shut up, Mitch. Give us all your money, kid. Now. Yeah, yeah all your money. Just, uh, take it easy, okay? In case you didn't notice, we're the ones giving the orders. Maybe I'll have to show her the beast. Whoa, the, beast? That? the beast? Now Not the beast! No, oh, my 56 bucks! Stan, we done did find the goose who laid the golden egg. Kid's loaded! No, the kid <laughs> was loaded. <laughs> See the difference? <laughs> Nice one, Stan. Thanks. Do you happen to have any snakes? <sighs> Please, I need that to cross. Mitch, this kid is starting to hurt my ears. Show her the beast. With pleasure. <gasps> now come on, we got work to do on our investigation. Sweet Sonia's life hangs in a balance. I feel like I'm going crazy, Mitch. Yeah, me too. And if we don't crack this soon, it'll be too late. What are you talking about? Quiet, little lady. Do I have to show you the beast again? No, yeah, I have a pretty good trap. view from uh, right here. Thank you very much. Peace. I think I can help you. First of all, give me back my 56. Kid, someone wants to end Sonia's life. The famous reporter? Yeah, we doubt that you could help us. <laughs> I've actually met her. I could help. Stan, remember what we read in the Goss Mag? Oh yeah, she had a kid in her limo. Pick her up. We'll make you a deal, kid. Help us, and you'll get your money back. Yes. Sounds fair, I guess. So we're trying to find out when the killer's gonna attack. We got some of his letters and things right here. When he's gonna attack is somewhere in them. We just know it is. Alrighty then, let's see. Um... Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. Picture of Lola. June 6th, 1979. So, uh, we know the girl's birthday. He says he's going to act on his kid's birthday. Okay. December 12, 1993. Sleep is no longer an option. Spend my nights at the office planning, planning, and planning some more. I know now I lacked on Lola's birthday. Yes. Sonia Sanchez and the brigades will pay for what they've done. You can bet on it. Let me look at the birthday again. Eh. Eh. Uh, June 6th. I don't know how important this is. If anything happens to sweet Sonia, I might just go crazy! His daughter would have been 23 years old, good lord. Dear Lola, today you would have been... <clears throat> we should do this with the right voice. Dear Lola, today you would have been 23 years old. They say time heals wounds, but for me, 
it seems to open them up again. Still, I've decided your birthday shouldn't be a day of death, even if they deserve it. Today will always be the day my baby girl was born and nothing else. That leaves just one day for my revenge. <coughs> this voice is murdering my voice cords. The day ten years ago when you said everything would change. It did change, but not in the way you meant. Your father. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It can't be that easy now, can it? Who and where? That guy's seriously disturbed, Stan. February 16, 1994. The days go on. One day indistinguishable from the next. But a moment of clarity. I've changed my mind one last time. I know when I'll act. I just don't know where. Can we find... <coughs> the... Um, the where? Probably at the border, if I'd have to guess. Uh, I don't know. It can't be that easy now, can it? So, month is... Uh, June is 7th, right? No. 6th. Day... 6-6? Six, six? Is it that easy? I don't think that's it, kid. Yeah, that don't look right. Try again. Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. So this is June 6th. Did she die on the day of her birthday? Hold on! Listen, I'm sleepy. I just woke up. Uh-huh. Birthday shouldn't be a day of death, even if they deserve it. So she did die on her birthday, right? And then it's gonna be... Day 7th then, right? Stan, is the kid mocking us? This is your last chance to get your money back. Try again. I am confusion. Eighth birthday. Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. Okay, so we have the, the, the birthday photo. Planning, planning, planning. I know I lacked on Lola's birthday. Wait, but, but, but you said... It's, it's June, right? This is June. What? The day ten years ago when you said everything would change, it did change, but not in the way you meant. And he has the date crossed out. I mean, I mean, it cannot be that hard now, now can it? Like, I thought it was uh, simple enough to be um, the sixth day of June. What am I missing here? Okay, we saw this note. 
We saw this note. He had this letter in his journal. I guess his daughter was fond of reptilians. This is from her. How, how did I miss this? September 5th, 1986. Dad? Mr. Winter says not to contact anyone, but I feel I should tell you. We're leaving tomorrow morning to do something in four days that will change everything. One day you will understand why I joined the brigades. Promise. With all my love, Lola. She was also a member of the brigades? September 5th. Okay, let me write this down. September 5th. Four days that will change everything. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. September is nine, two. Okay. I mean, we can try. This is our last chance. YOLO! Oh, that's it! It all makes sense now! God you damn it! It was that easy! Deepest apologies I showed you the beast earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. We still need to figure I out what this guy looks like. And where the attack is gonna happen. But, uh... You know... Now we're making progress. Yeah, we are. Here's your cash, kid. It's best to honor one's promises. Stan and Mitch rules. Ah. Thank you for keeping it warm for me. So, oh yeah, before... You have more money, you don't need me. Before I leave, do you guys have any, I don't know, cereal bars? So... How do I leave? The ladder near the TV. Just climb it. Now get. Let me look around first. But, uh, before you go, maybe you want to ask us something? I want to ask about the beast. I mean, <clears throat> did you guys hear about the teen who died? I did. Awful is what it is. We would have saved a kid had we been there. Yeah, we would've. How does it make you feel, kid? We need a new leader for Petria. Yeah, could be a good time for a change. It's true. Can I go now? Am I free to leave? Well, I could donate in your piggy bank, but I don't get the option, so... Yeah. See you later, folks! We need food. And we need it now. Damn, that's a nice but What? Oh. I don't need money, I need food! Can I please take a cab? It's not gonna be Jared again, is it? We could rest. Yeah, let's do that. I have no idea if we're gonna find any food. August 1st. How long have I been sleeping? It's hiking, cab, or just walk. Ah, uh, I don't know about the cab though. Is there a chance we can meet our boy again? I'll take my chances. Jared! Our taxis are currently busy. Please call again another day. 
Can I have my dollars back, please? Will she? It's hiking. It is. Damn, we're almost there too. Stan and Mitch at sixty-five percent. Yep. We um, are not completing any of these. Not in this run. Twenty seven per cent. These scratches suck. 27%, please baby, please baby, please baby. Nice. Know anything about the iron pits? Sorry, but I don't know if I feel comfortable talking about that. Gives me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. Okay, then. Ah. Feel the breeze, everyone. I wish we could get our own car. Mm. Okay, I'm over it. Wait to be dropped. Leave car. No, yeah, goodbye, folks. Nice to make your acquaintance, but I have more friends to meet down the road before I get to the border. Never mind, we're already there. Wait, what is this car? Oh my god, my energy! What the fuck? Yes, we will have to buy food. Why is my character so... fragile? Rich Road 96 for the sixth time! S sixth time? Alright, one of our characters died, but they did make it to the border. That's right. You know, maybe it's time we, um, <clears throat> we borrow these monies we've been collecting for six runs now. Nobody else is going to take it but me. It's mine and mine alone. Revolt, only trust yourself, only trust yourself. Let's, uh... Ah, oh, this again? Oh, come on, man. Hello? Someone already took the money. There is no place to rest anymore either. Jared? I know you're here, buddy! destroyed my kern! I've been building that for years, just like the revolution! Pedro, I can see him now! You're under arrest! I have money! Wait, that's it? I get arrested and it's over? Just like that? I call bullshit! Listen, my papa is rich.
Holy shit, what is going on? Where am I? In a holding cell, near the border. They brought you in last night. My head... it hurts. They beat you. That's why. But you should start to feel better soon. How'd you get caught? A guy called the cops on me at a gas station. There was another teen there. Must have been arrested too, but taken in a different car. Oh, it's him! From uh, our last run. How long have you been here? Uh, too long. I just want to get it over with. Get what over with? Getting transferred to the pits. The pits? Are you sure? Well, you know, that's where crosses end up, isn't it? I need food desperately. Uh, uh, get your hands off me! Where are you taking him? Your friend's been chosen for a new treatment. We'll turn him into a good teenager yet. Fuck that, man. Do these people even feed us? Hello? Max! Who is Max? I don't wanna sleep. I can't sleep in this dump. It's not like we have a choice. September 9! Wake up! What's happening? You're being transferred to the pit. Now get up! What's going on out there? Demonstrations. It's election day, and scum like you want to make trouble. We need to go! Now time to get you in the truck. When was the last time you fed me? Go. Oh my god. Max, are you okay? Quiet back there. Did they shave his head, Max? Max! They fried him, man. I don't know if he can talk now. Electric chair? What the fuck? Oh my god, what is happening? Will anybody talk to me, please? I need answers. I haven't had anything for almost a month, so please, do you guys... I don't... Do, do, do you have a sandwich? Do you have a, a rotten... Oh, I missed some dialogue down there. God flipping damn it. This way, young blood! Listen, man, I don't have the energy for that. There's an opening up here! Please take me out to dinner before anything. Alex! What are you doing? John! It's not what you think! Robert got someone to make the bomb using my blueprints! I'm trying to disarm it, but it's not working! Robert must have changed the code! Dude is a straight-up a-hole! He probably used a code you wouldn't know. You're a hacker, aren't you? What code did you try, Alex? 1919, the brigade radio frequency. And 1986, they seem the most logical. 
I have an idea. Young blood, try 6682. 6682. Sure? It worked! Damn, dude, how did you know? How'd you know? That was the code of the first bomb. Your birthday. First bomb? My my birthday? Your mom and dad, Alex. Naomi and Steven. They built it and used the most important day of their lives as the code. We were going to use it. But there was a problem at the last moment. That's when Connie and I tried to take Tyrak out of the truck. We'd worked too hard to come up empty-handed. But we missed. And Tyrak detonated the explosives on the peak. And my parents were killed. Yes. And Connie. And so many others that day. Why didn't you tell me this sooner, John? I thought it'd radicalize you. Push you to build the bomb. And I didn't want you to hate me. Hate you? If I had killed Tyrak, your parents would still be alive. They made their choices, Mr. Yu. They put themselves in that position. That's not on you. Thanks for saying that, kid. Now, come on. Let's... Uh, Don't move. Hands up and turn around. Slowly. Hands up, I said! Mom! Don't shoot! Alex? Your mom's a cop? Get out of here, Alex. That voice... Wait... Papa Bear? No! You... know each other? Yeah! Turns out I've been chatting on the CB with the very person I was after. Well, it's not great for me either. The woman I love being a cop and everything. <laughs> love. Yeah. Love. Ha! Don't make me laugh. Better laugh story Listen, than Twilight. I'm sorry I stood you up. I chickened out. You think I care about that now? My mom and Mr. Ursus were gonna go on a date? My mind is gonna explode. Alex, I told you, get out of here. Listen to your mom. So, how do you know each other again? I did some work for the brigades, for info on my bio parents. John knew them. Yeah, right. It's the truth. My girlfriend and I were friends with Alex's parents. Your girlfriend? She died in 86. I've been trying to protect Alex. You gotta believe me. It's true, Mom. John wasn't using me. He was trying to protect me. Look, I screwed up. I became a part of something that turned bad. Not a day goes by that I don't regret it. But I'm a different person now. I want to be with you. I'm a cop, and you're a wanted criminal. Forgive me, but I don't see how that could work. Mom, look around. Things are happening. Change is happening. Give John another chance. He screwed up, but we all make mistakes. You, for instance. Me? Yeah, I mean, come on, Mom. You know what Tyrek is doing to teens. I... I do. Yes. You really want to keep working for a government that does that? No. I haven't wanted to do my job for a long time now. But I did it. For you. Well, you no longer have to, Mom. Now, please, lower your gun. We can cross together. There's nothing keeping us here. We can leave. Mom, what do you think? Kid, you can come if you want. Supporters on the other side of the wall have broken through and are now fighting the border forces with the brigades. Could this be it? Is the revolution really happening? <laughs> Join the fight or escape with my current energy. We're gonna die. But I think energy is involved in both actions, so it doesn't matter what we choose. We're gonna die anyway. So in this case, yes, let's do it. 
Let's join the fight. Good time to go, sir. Kid, stop! Zoe! Fire at will. The uprising that started that day spread to most of Petria, ensuring a fair, democratic election. Floris won by a landslide and promised to repeal much of what Tyrak had done. Tyrak was arrested and tried for his crimes. The iron pits were closed and the wall came down as well. Though it's far too early to tell what the future of my country holds, for the first time in many years, there is hope. And that, at the very least, is a good place to start. Man, that game was actually a surprise. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. Okay, so there's this. Some of the stories were very well written, others not so much, but I get it. The game is trying to give you a brief idea of what's going in the game, so, you know, there's lore. Most of the characters were very, very interesting to interact with, and I'm all about that. I do like engaging characters. It's what keeps me in a game when I go for story-rich experiences. And this one was uh, a pleasant surprise, I gotta admit. Needless to say, the soundtrack was incredible. And finally, we get to listen to that track I've been waiting for so long, I'm gonna cry. God, I love this, this song so much. It's so good. I love it, I love it. Had a good time with it. Had a very good time with it. Uh, it's a really short experience. It took us like, what, uh, seven hours, eight hours to complete. Uh, it would have been a lot longer if one of my characters didn't die. Maybe it was part of the story. Maybe it was meant to happen. Then again, we didn't complete all of the character stories. Some of them are around 60 to 70% completion. But yeah, overall experience, very, very good. I recommend it. Maybe there's different types of playstyles. Maybe there are different outcomes, depending on what you chose down the line. Maybe Tyrak wins if you are being a complete douchebag. I'm not that curious to finding out. Similar to uh, Disco Elysium, I don't think I could go down the bad road. I don't think I would ever be a fascist. It's uh, it, it was really really good, and um, I hear there's a, a sequel coming out. Is it already out? Not sure. Uh, actually, not a sequel. It's uh, pretty much a prequel featuring Zoe and one of her friends. It's called Zero. I would be curious to looking into that in the future. 
that was Road 96, everyone. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I will see you next time. What game? No idea. But whatever that may be, it's going to be a fun one. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have fun, whatever you do. Take care of yourselves, and do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time.